Okay, children, welcome back to the online tutorial. Today, I am going to discuss the Coplanar Forces question in the uh, Applied Paper 2020 LL paper. Right, 2020 LL paper. Coplanar Forces. This is my ABCD rhombus with AB equal to meters BAD pi over 3. The forces of magnitude 10 is acting at AD. B A two newton. B D six newton. D C B Newton C B Q Newton In the direction indicate the order of the letters. It is given that the resultant force is magnitude 10 newtons and its direction is a direction parallel to the B C. Yeah, I don't know where somewhere here. Parallel to the BZ and sense B to C direction, find the value of P and Q. Also find the distance from A to the point where the line of action the resultant with produce B A. Produce B A means this is not here, should be here, right? So it uh, doesn't matter, we we will get the negative answers. Right, how to find the uh, P and Q? Right. We know uh, this is 60 degree, this is also 60 degree, it's parallel to BZ, sense of B to Z direction. But I'm taking the more, uh, X component of the system, sigma X now, uh, it's minus 2 plus P, 10 cos 60, this is uh, rhombus, right? These sides are equal 60 60 or last 60. You know? Minus 6 cos 60. Minus Q cos 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or like here. Plus 5. Two, so finally it's P minus Q by 2 X component and Y component 10 sine 60 2 not coming P not coming Plus 6 sine 60, Q sine 60, 16, minus Q, 3 by 2, right, and Then sine 60, zig sine 60, and Q minus Q sine 60, right, all are here. So, how to get the P and Q? Uh, we need to, we, need, we, we know the direction. This is 60 degree. And the X component, the resultant, according to the resultant, X component will be 10 cos 60. 5. Y component will be according to the to the resultant 
y will be 10 sine 60 5 root 3 so now you can equal it Six Newton. So x is five. Five plus q by two. Eight Newton. X equal five. Then five plus three is eight. Right here, these are the values of p and q. Q6 Newton, P8 Newton. So we need the line of action. So moment around somewhere. around B equal to the result and moment this is right X this three not coming and P into the side length is two meters 2 cos 62 sine 60 minus 10 into 2 cos 62 sine 60 this only these two k are coming and the resultant is 10 into uh, the distance is x and x 60 degree x cos 60 x sine 60 so it will be all sine 60 is our cancel 10 x P is 8, 8 into 2, 10 into 2, 10 next, 16, 20, minus 36, x become 3.6 minus. So negative mean obviously is locate from B to left side. Right, so actually now we can draw the new diagram, 8 Newton, this is Q, 6 Newton. This whole length is 2 meters, it's 3.6, right, negative. So we can draw the new diagram, including our all data, without including this all data. So we can write like A, B, C, D. Right, so now it located over here with 60 degree parallel to the all sides AD, ABZ with the Newton 10 and here to here 2 and here to here 1.6 meters. So I, I, I didn't put the other sides, the components, because the whole system is now reduced to a resultant 10 Newton from A to left side, 1.6 meters. Right, so what they ask here, find the distance from A to the point where the line of action of the resultant force meet BA, produce BA. 
right so now it's over okay at uh, the next part now a couple of a moment a moment m newton meter acting in the clockwise sense and the two forces each of magnitude f newton acting along cb and dz each of magnitude f newton acting on cb and dc in the direction indicated by the order of the letter so <clears throat> cb cb this is f newton and dz f newton so the couple is counterclockwise this way counterclockwise sense uh m okay by the order of the letters are added to the system for that resultant force uh, resultant forces passes through the point a and c right so that means the new resultant is overlap this ac right overlap this az find the values of f and m okay so what you have to do now the new, new resultant is located on the ac Right, passing through the AZ means it's located AZ. Right, so the forces passes through the point AZ. Find the value of F and M. Okay, I'm going to take a more. Yeah, uh, so first I think you can find the uh, M. The M because uh, you can take the moment around Z. Right, and uh, you know, whole system is reduced to AC, and when you take moment around, moment around Z, any direction. So I'm taking the uh, clockwise direction, right? So now the system consisting of this 10 newton F, F, and this M, right? The whole the previous whole system is reduced to 10 newton. So therefore, your case now it's 10 F, F, and uh, M. Couple is located on the system. So then, moment around Z, uh, so these two are not coming, then M will be equal to, you know, M equal, M minus 10 into this distance, 10 Newton into, how do we get this, uh, this is 1.6, this is 1.6, right? So when you draw the perpendicular line from C to the result in the previous result this is uh, 1.6 this is 2 3.6 and here is 60 degree and 3.6 uh, not cos 60 sine 60 3.6 sine 60 become 0 m equal 10 into 3.6 root 3 by 2 m equal Six point eighteen root three eighteen root three Newton meter. Right, so how do you get F now? Okay, to find the uh, F, right, to find the F, you know, the new resultant is overlap AC, so that means the new resultant angle is tan 30, right, so tan 30 can be written with, tan 30 can be written with Y over X, Y, Y uh, component over X component, so what is Y actually, so Y mean, the whole uh, vertical components 10 sine 60 minus f sine 60 so it's 10 minus f root 3 by 2 you know the m is not coming m is a couple and couple is not uh, cannot be equal uh, cannot be component wise taken uh, because it's uh, two parallel forces and x component 
it's uh, 10 cos 60 plus f minus f sin 60 f cos 60 so this is 5 this is uh, half no 5 and f by 2 it's 10 plus f so anyway it's 10 plus f by 2 10 plus f by 2 10 plus f by 2 so then you know tan 30 is 1 over root 3 y component 10 minus f root 3 by 2 10 plus f half this is cancelled and you can write it's 10 plus f 10 minus f into 3 it's 10 plus f 30 minus 3f 4f equal 20 f become 5 newton Four F thirty and three F ten. Uh, right. Four F equal twenty newton. F is finite. Okay. Uh, so this is my method. So there may be so many methods for fine because someone can take in the moment around A and here. So anyway, they will come right. Uh, so this is the model answer. Not the I I didn't I didn't see the marking scheme yet. Right. So this is uh, what I. Uh, thought about the paper coupling of forces question so there may be a different different method for solving the last part it doesn't matter so you can uh, mention your method in the comment section so i will check it and we can share our knowledge no okay so this is the model answer for the 2020 ll paper coupling of forces question some student asked me to do that so then i made a video for all of you and thank you very much for uh, watching and i will upload more videos in the 2020 paper so thank you very much and have a nice day